Matt wrote the lyrics about vampires and uh, you know, creatures of the night, kind of evil stuff. It's more of a dark song <clears throat> to go along with the heavier music. The music was actually written about 2007 when I was in a band in Texas and um, they're no longer together. So when I was going through some of the riffs that I wanted to revisit, that one stuck out as one I wanted to use. I showed it to Van and Matt and they liked it. We changed it around a little bit. Originally, Matt was singing right along with the uh, chorus, exactly what the guitar was doing. Uh, Jim Morris had the idea to really layer the vocals, make it more of an operatic, big sound, and we really liked it. I'm doing the first guitar solo in there, and Gio Caracca guessed it on it and does the second guitar solo in there. And that's Child of Man. So the answer is a song that I wrote, and it's it's essentially a funeral song um, without being depressing. Uh, you know, I, I, that wasn't my intent at all. It was sort of my way of expressing my feeling as somebody who's been left behind here on Earth by uh, by loved ones and giving them the proper send-off in an honorable, respectful way. I hope that that translates well in the music and uh, it's essentially what it's about. Dead Man's Play is a song about you know, a dying man basically choosing to go into the light or down below and just uh, the kind of good and evil uh, struggle there. The music for that was written a couple of years ago. It was a... Uh, I'd written a bunch of songs uh, while I was in Iced Earth that never really saw the light of day, but when Matt and I started talking about working together, I showed him some of the stuff I had written, and that song uh, was the one he said he really liked, so we decided to work with it. And uh, the middle section, a little interlude, I kind of got the um, inspiration kind of the spinal tap part where they do the Stonehenge uh, portion there and also got you can hear the Iron Maiden Dance of Death influence in there and uh, just other than that it's just a really heavy song that's the first one we decided to let everybody hear Dead Man's Play. I Am is a song written about the uh, dangers and evils of preachers that can be a little overboard and you know, severely judge you and maybe they shouldn't be the ones doing the judging. It's probably our heaviest song. It was written with a seven string to bring a little bit more low, deep, you know, dark sounding. The, uh, there's a lot of Slayer influence in there. You'll definitely hear that. And uh, some you know, Megadeth, Death Angel, some of the Old school thrash and classic bands uh, really uh, wanted to incorporate that in there. That's what I am. There's an old adage that goes, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. And that's essentially what, the, uh, what inspired the song One-Eyed King. Um, and again, looking at our society, sometimes we can find ourselves following blindly um, folks that maybe we shouldn't. Read the lyrics, you'll get it. It's the one I came.